Did you know that some diseases run in families? These are passed on from parents to children and are called inheritable genetic diseases. Many Indians suffer from them. Why is it so? Can we prevent these diseases? Let's first understand where these diseases come from. Research shows that in the last 2000 years, people in India have largely married and bred in their own small communities. As a result, every community has gathered unique mutations in the DNA of its people. But what are mutations? Imagine DNA to be a long thread made up of four kinds of building blocks adenine, thymine, guanine and cytosine called as A, T, G and C respectively. The long DNA thread is marked into smaller regions called genes. These genes hold information to make proteins, the little machines in the cells of our bodies. The ATGC sequence of these genes can randomly change over time. These are called as mutations. Most of these mutations are inconsequential, but some mutations alter the genes, such as the proteins become non-functional or dysfunctional. These can cause diseases and sometimes even death in the people carrying the faulty mutation. There can be two types of faulty mutations in genes, dominant and recessive. Cells usually contain two copies of genes, one inherited from each parent. Dominant mutations are those where just one copy of a mutated gene is sufficient to cause a disease. But these are rare. In case of recessive mutations, both the copies of a gene need to be mutated to cause a disease. People with just one copy of such a recessive mutation feel healthy and are often unaware of the mutation they carry in their gene. But the problem arises when two such people have biological children together. Their children can inherit two copies of the mutated gene and suffer from the disease. Such inheritable diseases due to both dominant and recessive mutations are called as genetic diseases. Some of the examples of genetic diseases are thalassemia, muscular dystrophy, sickle cell anemia and cystic fibrosis. India is estimated to have about 70 million people suffering from genetic diseases. Dr. Kumarasamy Tangaraj and Dr. Giriraj Chandak and other scientists at the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology have studied genes from various Indian populations. They have found mutations that are unique to Indians. These mutations are responsible for several diseases such as heart problems, neuromuscular diseases, chronic inflammation in pancreas and diabetes. The two-decade-long study shows that Indian populations have high incidence of genetic diseases due to marrying within small communities. But there are ways to stop the spread of genetic diseases. You can go to the doctor to get tested for some of the common faulty genes. If possible, choose a partner who does not carry the same faulty genes as you. One of the other ways is to marry or choose your partner who is not your relative or belongs to a different community. This way, the chances of both of you carrying the same faulty gene would be small. In case you and your partner have the same faulty gene, you can consult a medical geneticist or genetic counsellor to make an informed choice on healthy life for you and your future children. Let us all strive to be a change maker to build a healthier India. Presented to you by CSIR CCMB, CSIR Jigyasa, supported by Department of Science and Technology and National Council for Science and Technology Communication. To know more about CSIR CCMB's work, please visit www.ccmb.res.in.